place and chilly outside. It was like five degrees minus uh, five degrees, uh, not including the wind chill. Now I'm on my way downtown to see a friend that I see like once every few months. Um, Let's see. Down to the park. We met at a farmer's market at my university, and now he's moved on and so am I, but we remain friends, so now we're going to hang out downtown. We're going to take a nice stroll and walk, and uh, we'll, see, we'll see where this vlog takes us. I'm trying to get better at vlogs. Terrible at them. Arendale. Hi, say hi, say hi. Oh, look, it's a familiar face. Do you guys remember the beautiful face? From the Christmas last year? Yeah, you. Hello. Yes, you. Right there. Okay. But you like it? I do. But I mean, I always pair it with something else. True. You're good at pairing stuff. Why aren't you a line cook? You should be a line cook. Well, that's what I'm... At like oh, a canoe restaurant or did something. I, did I tell you what my new job was? Are you a line cook? Yeah. yeah. Well, no. I'm um, what is this place? Um, so, I was working for, um, Oh my god, they have wild boar? Ha! Ah, that's so cool! Boar! Where's me? I am a Taurus. Taurus. I do not. Yes, this one's the Taurus, I think. Or it looks like a snake, but. No, I feel like it's a Taurus. This one's Scorpio. No, I'm not beside Scorpio. I'm beside. That one's Scorpio, sorry. This one, I don't know. I don't even know what I'm beside. No, that's the Taurus, right? This is the Taurus. Yeah. Taurus. What's that? Gemini. Gemini. Oh yeah, Gemini. Hmm. And this is Aries. I think yes. it's Aries. Yes. Yeah, so that's the horns of the of the sheep. Which one are you? I'm Gemini. Oh, you're Gemini. Oh wow, really? Most of the time, I feel like mixed about Gemini's. I'm like, I either really get along with you, and then. A few days later, like, you'll be in a mood, and I wouldn't, yeah, you're like, inconsistent! Well, as a Gemini, every time I meet another Gemini, I'm like, hey, you're, you're a good person. Like, we can get along. What, every time you meet another yeah, Gemini? Gemini's get along with other Gemini. What if you're because both in a mood? Like, well, then we're both in a mood, but we understand that we're both in a mood. Do you feel like you, you get in a mood? You know, sometimes. So, that's Evergreen Brickworks. Ah, oh, you yes. can see it. You can see it right Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do they have Christmas markets? They definitely have ours all the time. So yeah, they're gonna have some. I didn't see anything about it this week or this week, so probably it's only gonna be on the weekends during the winter. But we'll definitely go back there. But we have to we have to, we have to get there from that side because this is a mess. Right. Is that the Don Valley Parkway? This is the Don Valley Parkway. Oh my god. One, two, three, four! I've been asking my angels to give me one, two, three, four for a sign, but now I forgot why I asked for the sign. I was like, please show me the sign one, two, three, four as a, as a symbol that this and this is gonna happen. And now I forgot what that this and this is. But I see the, si it's the sign. It's interesting. By the sea, sand people. Wait, why don't we go to the end of this? This is another dead end. It might be a lookout there. Okay. Was this where we intended to go? No, no. Okay. It's all the way around the corner. It's going to be another 10 minutes. Cool. We're, in fact, we're going to be, we'll be able to see where we're going to from the end of this road. Oh, okay. On that side. Wow, this house wins one of my Christmas presents. <laughs> He's filming me, film me. I'm filming him, film me. And I'm standing on this. It's a billboard ledge. The billboard's here. I 
Yes, after a while they all found out They tried to shout, but when in doubt The facade of the sea staring back at me Oh, I brought my own spare battery pack as well. Oh. Just in case, you never know. When you have a lot of fun, you tend to forget about filming. And then the battery just keeps going. People sit and wait anxiously. So we just finished walking around, oh my god, like East York, Toronto. It's been an amazing day, like so much to talk about. And we stopped by Loblaws, we picked up some mushrooms, some salamis, um, what else? A little peppers, bit of the red peppers. The red peppers. Stuffed Italian. And Leaf is gonna be the, the, the head chef. And I'm gonna be the sous chef. And we're gonna have one more friend come over and we're gonna make stuffed bell peppers slash stuffed mushrooms. And I'm hungry, so I'm so ready to eat. And we're gonna play some games. So this has been such a wonderful day. So. And we're back. I'm grating provolone cheese here. We got bocconcini there. We have our salami there. Peppers, tomato, onion, and some mushroom over there. We are ready and in session. Bocconcini. Italian is perfect. Hmm. Plus all the meat and cheese. Like that's the X. You make the best the concoctions. You really do. This is our lightly cooked porchetta because mm -hmm. it is going into the oven along with everything else. Delicious. Oh, wow. Cut it this. Stuffing the peppers. Mm -hmm. Layering it. Layering that down. And here's the tricky part for this adventure. Down through the center. So it stays in the center. Mm. And then a bunch of cheese. One. Come One! On. Look at that beauty! And it continues. Feels gonna be on the side. Mm. Looking good. Oh yeah, pretty much. It didn't really. It's stay. like lasagna. Yeah, we wanted to keep the. There's a bocconcini in each one, like a Scotch egg. Well, bocconcini melts pretty easily. Yeah. So anyway. So I guess it was in there for a little longer. Ha! I'm ready!
everybody. Beautiful. Okay, so I guess I'm supposed to cut this. Okay, yeah, well, it's definitely going to cool down faster if you do the big cut, yeah. You don't have to do it all the way. Did you put pepperoni in this? Yeah, we did. Okay. Can I know what am I what am I eating right now? This is called an, uh, my Italian version of a stuffed pepper. So it contains um, a, a Italian salami. It contains both the bocconcini cheese and the um, bocconcini. Mhm. Mm and the um, was there a cheese? Oh my god, I love the soup. So we ended the night with some Jackbox TV, which is a multiplayer game in which you do individual things on your phone and you look at a TV screen which hooks up all of your answers to one. Um, we made some bell peppers together. We played some lateral thinking puzzles, which is hilarious. And I met his new friend. And it was, it was just great. It was a good time that we had all together. Usually it's just me and him hanging out together. It's, it's been like that for a really long time. And it's just so nice to meet someone else that has been in his life that is really making him so happy. The night was filled with some hikes, some, some laughs, some cooking, some games. We also played charades, which is a lot of fun. Um, and you guys know that I was an acting major, so I, <laughs> I love that game so, so, so much. I remember this friend when he was in a really tough spot, and this was about a year ago. He was in a tough spot because he had so much to give and it just felt like the world wasn't giving him any of those opportunities. He was feeling stuck in his life, his finances were really, really low, he was constantly worried about money. He um, was lonely. He wasn't in a job where he really felt like he was thriving. And to see him one year now, he's in a new relationship, he has a a job that he enjoys and he has contacts that if he were to move on from his job he would have a lot of other like his network has expanded in that there's a lot more opportunities to him and people that he's um, he's in contact with so that he has those connections if he wants to seek out a new opportunity his finances are better he's happier I really see him happier and all I want is for her, is for those around me to be happy. It just feels so good seeing him then to now in just a year's time. And who knows where he'll be in about a year from now. He's just so naturally innovative, so naturally creative, naturally a people's person, naturally thoughtful, naturally, naturally just creative. I know that, I don't know, I could just see him like as a line cook, slash waiter, slash greeter, head of the house, head of front of the house, such a people's person, can strike up a conversation like that. It's amazing to, to watch him transform. So it's really, really nice seeing him again. And every year we always have this um, Friends Christmas. Christmas? We should have a name for it by now. And uh, in which we go around the neighborhood for a nice urban hike. We go around the neighborhood and I give out some like uh, little Christmas treats, little baked Christmas goods, and also I offer every house that we go to a Christmas carol. So we kind of do this ding dong thing. Um, I do that every year, and I kind of need a cameraman. So last year I asked him to help me, and he was like, he was like, yeah, I'll help you. Um, it was so much fun. It was so 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 much fun. So that was that was a wonderful night that I had. Um, so I, I normally don't when I put up these vlogs. It's mostly like this is what I did on this day, and then this is what I did on this day, and this is what I did on this day, and then there's a little mini talk at the end. So um, I made it more intentional with this vlog today in which I vlogged the entire day of what I did <laughs> with him which was the hike all the way up until the night where uh, we, we cooked and we played some games and it's, it's really refreshing. I'm wondering if there was anybody in your life that you've seen them 
transform. If you've seen them transform from being on a high to a low and then a high, or just uh, being evolving into a different person. Maybe they were really aggressive at first and now they're just, they're just like more laid back, embodying kind of calm presence or any kind of, any kind of transformation. What it was like witnessing them or if you've been through your own transformation. And if you feel like you don't have a transformation, really ask yourself like, is that true? Because I'm sure we don't stay 100% stagnant all the time. We all have a story, we all have been through somewhere and through something. And I'd like to think that me being in other people's lives brings a, a little bit of happiness a little bit of a change, a little bit more brightness into their day. I've started seeing it with this friend and I've started seeing it in another friend. It's just so nice to see. All right, thanks for watching the vlog. I'll see you in the next clip. I have a friend today and he struggles with a bit of social anxiety and I just, I got the idea to do a rejection game. The point of the game is to get rejected as many times as you can for the next 10 days. So, I think this helps in that being rejected becomes what you are striving for instead of something that you are shunning away and then beating yourself up for. It also makes your world a little more interesting and your world a little more playful so some things to start off with if you want to play this game for the next 10 days is go up to the barista and upon your checkout just ask for a 10% discount ask the guy in the parking lot if you can get a drive around town to the other side um, tell someone that you like their fur ask that lady if you can touch her furry coat because it looks so fluffy I'm trying to think of other ways that you can get rejected. I think it's going to be amazing. I'll, I'll, I'll put a link down in an article that I just Googled and searched up and, and found really fascinating as well. So, I'm excited because <laughs> this could be really fun and really scary. And that's when you know you've hit the jackpot. If, it's, if, it's, if it feels expansive and it feels scary, Let's do it. The rejection game. Subway doesn't have a radio, so I should be its radio station, right? You better watch out. You better not cry. You better not pout. I'm telling you why. Santa Claus is coming to town. He sees you when you're sleeping. He knows when you're awake. He knows if you've been bad or good, so be good for goodness sake. But I'm bum. You better watch out. You better not cry. You better not pout. I'm telling you why. Santa Claus is coming to town.